Hello, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I am Nick from Australia. Welcome to the Saturday Football Review. It's coming out a bit a day late today. I had a big night last night, so um, yeah, record, recording this the Saturday Football Review at twelve thirty five p.m. on Sunday around lunchtime. So hope everyone had a great Saturday night. Hope everyone's having a great Sunday. Um, so yeah, let's go. Let's get into the review. So. We saw three games of football yesterday. We saw the Warriors beat the Knights 36 points to 6. Um, then we saw the Sharks defeat my beloved Cowboys 28 points to 12. And then we saw Penrith defeat the West Tigers 30 points to 6. And you got so many people on Facebook calling Penrith versus West Tigers a rivalry. It's not a fucking rivalry, you daft cunts. Honest to God, it's not a rivalry. Um, if you're new to the channel... Make sure you hit, you hit that subscribe button. Um, we are at about 610 subscribers at the moment. So thanks to everyone who's subscribing to the channel. So let's get into the review. I might try and keep it a short review. There isn't much to talk about because every game yesterday was just shit. Shit in general. Now the first game, Warriors 36, Newcastle 6. Now this, I don't know what to say about the Knights. This, um is a really bad sign for them. Look, going into finals, they're going to be playing finals. The Knights, they have a chance to finish in the top four, and they just get blown out by the Warriors down in Tamworth, which is disappointing for the Knights because they they are supposed to be a team that is supposed to be looking like a really good side come finals time, and out of all the teams that are in the top eight at the moment, they're probably the worst of, of the whole lot. So they got a bit to work on if they're going to be anything anywhere near the Premiership this year, which I don't think they will be, but they got a bit to work on. As for the Warriors, they um they can still play finals football. They did really well here yesterday against the Knights. They pra practically ambushed the Knights, and I thought Roger Tuvasa Shek was absolutely absolutely outstanding. I thought Chanel Harris Tavita was great. I thought Jazz Tavaga was great. That young uh, Jermaine Brown, the front row, was really good. Um. You know, the Warriors yesterday were really good and they are playing a really good style of football, which is not boring. They're playing very um very open. They're throwing the ball around and I think the halves of Nick Grima and Harris Tavita are doing a good job at the moment. As for the Knights, well, Callum Ponga is proving why he is very overrated. He's supposed to be one of the best players in the game. He's not even top five in my opinion and he's just I don't know, he's Everyone talks up Kalen Ponga. Well, where was he yesterday? Tuvasa Shek gave him a bath yesterday. Um, yeah, not much to talk about this game. I'm gonna I'm gonna give the Newcastle Knights performance yesterday a uh, 2.5 out of 10. I was really disappointed with Newcastle, and I'm gonna give the Warriors performance a solid 8 out of 10. I thought they were terrific. My uh, top three on ground: number three, Jazz Tavaga; number two. Uh, Chanel Harris Tavita and number one, my man, the match. It's going to go to Roger Tuvasa Shek. I thought he was absolutely outstanding. Let's move on to the second game on Saturday. <sighs> I don't want to talk about this game, but I'm going to. Cronulla 28, North Queensland 12. Um, yeah, look, I, I don't really know what to say about the Cowboys. They, um, they have issues. They have all sorts of problems at the moment. They lost Tam Lolo last week. Michael Morgan just returned two weeks ago, and then he just he did his calf. So that's obviously a really bad thing for us. Michael Morgan injured, um, tore his calf in the first five minutes, which is just fucked. Honestly, it's fucked. And um, yeah, it's it's been a really really tough year for the Cowboys. They, they, they don't even have a coach at the moment. I understand um, Josh Hannay come out at the press conference and said. He's having a whinge about the travel on the day of the game. About, oh, it's, it's injuring our players. I call bullshit on that. I really do. You know, players have got enough room on planes to stretch their legs and rest their, rest around. That, I call bullshit on that. As for the Sharks, well, they didn't have Sean Johnson. He was out due to injury. They didn't have Moylan. And then the Cowboys lost Morgan. And then the Cowboys fell into a heap, which is just fucked. It's just fucked. Um, as for the as for the Sharks, I thought um, uh, Will Kennedy had a really good game. I thought Toby Rudolph was great off the bench. 
Uh, that big Talakai back row is a fucking handful as usual. Every time I get, every time I get the ball, the the defense looks fucking scared. Um, the Cowboys absolutely fucking clueless the way they're playing. I think Michael Morgan needs to be rested for the rest of the season. He clearly is getting a lot of injuries at the moment, and it's just not helping his cause. And Tamalolo, I think, should do the same. Rest up for the rest of the year. If the Cowboys get the spoon, the Cowboys get the spoon. I fucking hope not. I'll go off my fucking head if I get the spoon. But, you know, the Sharks took advantage of a really piss weak Cowboys team. And good luck to them. I don't know if they'll make the eight, but they're looking like they're going to. Um, yeah, not much to talk about this game. I'm going to give the Cowboys performance a um, 3 out of 10. They were terrible once again. I'm going to, I'm going to give the Sharks performance a... 7 out of 10. They did well without Johnson and Moylan. And they're just doing enough at the moment, the Sharks. I'm going to get... Um, you know, they're doing enough. Top 3 on ground for this game. I'm going to go with... Number 3. I'm going to go with um, Toby Rudolph. Number 2. Uh, Talakai. That big back row. He's a fucking monster. And number 1, my man the match. It's going to go to the fullback, Will Kennedy. I thought he was terrific. Yesterday, let's move on to the last game, which was just wasn't a bad half. The first half was good, the second half was shit. Penrith 30, West Tigers 6. Now, the Tigers started this game very well with the first try with David Nofaluma. They looked good for about 20 minutes, the Tigers, and then the Panthers ended up going, get, getting in a good, get, getting into a groove with Drum Lewis scoring a fantastic. Individual try, which I thought was terrific, and then Liam Martin scoring before half time, which pretty much killed any momentum that the Tigers had. So, Panthers had a nice lead at half time, I think it was 14 6 at half time. And then, um, the Tigers they did they just fell into a heap once again. Then they scored through Brian Toto, and then a penalty try to Stephen Crichton, and then Mansell scoring with about a minute to go. But what I want to say about the Tigers and Panthers is, um, I've been seeing people on Facebook in the comment section and all these other uh, Facebook rugby league pages trying to say Penrith versus West Tigers is, is a is a it, it's a it's a huge Western Sydney rivalry. What? It's not a fucking rivalry, you daft cunt. It's not a rivalry. H how the fuck is it a rivalry? What have the Tigers done since 2011 to make this game a fucking rivalry? What have Penrith done since 2003 to make this, make this a rivalry? So, because Ivan Cleary has an issue with the fucking Tigers, and some of the players have an issue with Joey Leilua, and some of the players have issues with Nathan and Ivan, it makes it a rivalry? Are you fucking kidding me? It's not a fucking rivalry, you daft cunts. Dead set. Penrith... Do not have a rivalry in the NRL. If they do, the only team I can name would be Parramatta. But do you, do you really consider that consider that as a big rivalry? As for the West Tigers, that they, they haven't done anything since 2011. They haven't played finals since 2011. They've done fuck all since then. They are one of the biggest failure of a clubs in the last 10 years because they have done fuck all, honestly. I might, sound, I, might sound, I, might, I might sound a bit harsh, but it's the fucking truth. Um, as for this game, it was fucking shit. Penrith win again. Are they ever going to lose a game, Penrith? Honestly, I'm starting to question myself if they are going to lose a game. They will lose one eventually, I think, but um, the Tigers were shit in the second half. And when when Liam Martin scored that try in half time, I knew the Tigers were going to get blown away. So, um not a great Super Saturday because there was a lot of blowout games. My um, I'm, I'm going to give the West Tigers performance here a 3 out of 10. I'm going to give the Pemis performance here a solid 7.5 out of 10. My uh, top 3 on ground. I'm going to go... Oh, this is not easy because apparently we've had a lot of really good players last night. I thought they were really good in the second half. Alright, I'm going to go... Number 3, James Fisher... Harris. Number two, I'm going to go with Dylan Edwards. I thought he was really good. And number one, my man of the match, I'm going to give it to Jerome Loy. 
I thought he was really solid yesterday for the Panthers, and uh, he's my man the match. But, um, yeah, guys, I'm getting out of here. That was the uh, Saturday Football Review. I'm getting out of here. Make sure you guys go ahead and like, comment, subscribe to the channel. The uh, Sunday fo Football Review will also be out tonight as well, so uh, stay tuned for that. I'm getting out of here, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great Sunday afternoon. Enjoy the footy. Hopefully we get some better games. I'm getting out of here. And I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.